In this Christmas special, we use Python to make a snowstorm generator. Now what I'm imagining here is in your terminal, you run the program and there's just this cascading falling amount of snow. And I want it to be customizable as far as how fast it goes, as well as how dense the snow is. So we're gonna incorporate that into our program. I also want it to not be a fixed size. I want it to be the size of however big the terminal is. So if you make the terminal full screen, then I want the snowstorm to be full screen. I also want the snowstorm that it generates to be randomized, so we'll incorporate that as well. So let's start with our imports. I'm imagining we're going to need probably OS, random, and time. So we can just import all of those. OS, random, and time. I'm imagining we'll need OS to do things like clearing the screen, random to generate the snow, and then time for the delay. Next, we'll do a couple configuration constants. One will be snow density. This is going to determine how thick the snow on the screen is. And we'll do this as a percentage. So we can say as a default value of, say, 5. And we'll specify a delay. And then this will be number of seconds of delay between updating the snowstorm. Next is the actual characters that we're going to use to make the snowstorm. So for that, I went online and I found some random site that had some Unicode snowflakes. And then I just load them up into a list and this is what it looks like. So we have our five different snowflakes that we'll choose from. My, my intent is to build it by row so that there's a certain percentage of just empty space and then a certain percentage of snowflakes that's chosen randomly between the snowflakes in the list. Next, we have to get the size of our terminal. So for that, we can use os.getTerminalSize. And from this, we can get the width, which will be term.columns, and then the height, which will be term.lines. Now we can just print these out just to make sure that everything works run our program, and we can see that we get 7836. So all is good there. So next we want to create our actual grid that the snowflakes are going to sit in. So at the start, we're going to create an empty list, and we're going to loop over every element in range. This is going to be the height. And then in here, we're going to add one row per line that's in the terminal. And to do that, we're going to do grid.append list with one element of an empty space, and we're going to multiply that by the width. Next, we need a method to actually draw the grid in the terminal. So we'll define a new method called, eh, just draw a grid should be fine. So we have to prepare the terminal in two ways. The first piece of code we're going to do will actually clear the screen. It'll be CLS if it's on Windows and clear if it's on anything else. And then we'll print a very specific set of characters that will remove the cursor from the terminal so that doesn't obstruct the snowstorm. Next, we're going to build an output string that we're going to put to the screen. So we can do output equals. Then we're going to do for row and grid going to append to output join row. This will take all the characters in the row and join them together as one string, and then we will add the new line at the end. Now the one thing we'll have to do is we'll have to strip the final new line off the end. So we'll do strip new line. We want to make sure we actually specify new line in there so it doesn't strip other characters that we do need, like spaces. And then finally we'll print out the output and specify an end line of nothing to make sure that it doesn't add an additional new line. At this point, we could just give our code a little test. So down here, we'll just call draw grid. Go into our code, run it, and it just gives us absolutely nothing, which is what we wanted. So if we wanted to make sure the grid is actually working up here on grid append, at, instead of doing a space, we can just do an A, and then we run it. We can see that it's a bunch of A's in a grid. And everything looks fine, so we'll just replace that A again with the space. Finally, we're going to start an infinite loop. So we'll do a wall true, and then in here, we're going to draw the grid. Then we're going to call time.sleep, and we're going to specify delay. And this is configurable up top as to how long it should delay. Last but not least, we have to generate the actual rows of snowflakes. So to start, we'll create an empty list to hold our new row of snowflakes. Then we'll do a for loop in range w. And then in here, here is where we're going to use random to figure out the chance that we're going to add a piece of snow to the row. So for this, we'll do if random dot random is less than snow density divided by 100. So the way random dot random works is it generates a number that is greater than or equal to zero, but less than one. And so what we can do is we can take snow density and divide it by 100. So our snow density is five. So five divided by 100 is 0 0.05. So if random dot random generates a number that is less than 0 0.05, then it should add a snowflake. So for that, we can do row append random.choice, and we can specify snowflakes. And then of course, if it doesn't get a snowflake, we just append an empty string, or rather a single space character. And then so what do we do with this new list called row? We insert it at the beginning of grid. So for that, we can do grid.insert, zero row, 
and then we want to remove the last element of grid. So our program should be done at this point. So let's do just do a little test over here. And you can see it is kind of working. So remember, we can customize the density of the snow and the speed. So let's do that now. So let's make the snow a little denser, about twice as dense, and we'll slow the snow down a little bit. So this is going to be 10% snow and a half a second delay. So you can see it's going slower, but the snow is more dense. Now it's actually speeded up quite a bit. So we'll do 0.1. So this is like a this is like a major snowstorm coming down. So just kind of a summary on what we're doing. We're building the grid and then we're adding a new row on the front of the list and we're removing the last element of the list. And the result is this. So this isn't so much a, you know, infinite amount of snow. Once it gets to the bottom, it gets removed and it adds a new row to the top. Now remember that we said one of the design goals was to make sure this worked on any size terminal. So we're going to change this a little bit, just make it a little slower, hurting my eyes a little bit. We'll do like seven and we'll just make this full screen. When we start it up, you can see that it works full screen. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's automatically adapting to whatever the width and the height of the terminal is, which is kind of cool. And that's really it. That's how you make a snowstorm in Python in your terminal. If you want to run this on your machine, the code will be available in the description. And as always, if you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in the video, please leave them below in the comments. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, and take care.